Hello, I am Wanderer001, and this is my review of the Maho Leaf 50 Amplified Antenna. This is a digital TV antenna, similar to uh, how rabbit ears were back in the day. This will allow you to pull down digital TV signal into your TV without having to have a cable box or a cable subscription. Now, the amount of channels that you will get with this over a paid cable subscription is uh, severely less, but if you just watch the major networks, Fox, NBC, uh, PIX11, uh, those types of channels, this will be more than enough for you. So what you're looking at here is the antenna itself. It is 11 and a half inches wide, nine inches high, and has a depth as you can see right there, it just disappears uh, with a depth of 0 0.04. Uh, so some people say that this is as thin as a piece of paper. It's not quite as thin as a piece of paper. It might be a little difficult to see there. It's probably as thin as probably five or six sheets of paper. I know that's splitting hairs, but it's just giving you a better idea of what how thick this really is but even five sheets of paper is really thin. And because I like to use everyday objects to give you a size comparison, well, the only everyday object that I can think of for a size comparison for this particular item was a sheet of paper. So this is your uh, standard sheet of paper, which I'll try and bring down a little bit there. Uh, and obviously I'm using the black side, so it's a little easier for you to see the white outline and the black. So again, this is the closest representation of an everyday object that I could think of for size of this. Uh, also, if we bring it up here, it's a little harder to tell because of the black and white coloring, but as I said before, not quite as thin as a single sheet of paper, but a couple of sheets of paper stacked together would be a good representation of how thick this antenna is. So it is reversible. Uh, meaning that there's white on one side and black on another. It is made of a plastic material that is extraordinarily flexible, even though it's supposed to sit flat on your wall. It is flexible, so you, know, you don't have to worry about this getting hurt if it happens to drop, because I had this ball a couple of times when I was first initially figuring out where to put it. So as I said, it is reversible to try and match your decor, but also paintable so if you don't have something that white would look good with or black would look good with you can paint right over it and still receive a signal in the upper corners it might be a little hard to see there's these holes uh, which will allow you to tack it to the wall i'll show you in a moment for mounting hardware with the mohu you get four of these stick back discs which are as they call it hook and loop tape so it's really just velcro in little circles that you stick in the four corners, or you have these little push pins, uh, either black or white, depending on which side of the mohu you decide to use. Now, I just ended up using finishing nails because I was not too sure about, well, I didn't want to use the hook and loop tape and I didn't want to push these little pins into it because they don't feel super sturdy, just saying. Uh, sticky back or sticky tack is probably going to be your best bet when figuring out the position of where the the mohu should go uh, my initial setup was probably about an uh, no about 45 minutes of figuring out the exact placement of where it should go so each time you move it you will have to rescan so having a way to keep it on the wall is a a good thing so back to the antenna itself as you see there is a coax input at the bottom there uh, and the clamp is uh, the same color as the side it should be on. Now, this is the, uh, the I don't want to say upgraded version, but they, Maho, Mohu did a uh, product revamp probably about a year ago and consolidated and changed. And one of the big things with the old version, because I've been eyeballing this for a while now, uh, was the older version had a attached coax cable unless you went to the higher level, which then had a detachable coax. But now with the Maho 50, you get a uh, detachable coax cable. So we're gonna put this down for a moment and show you some of the things that come in the box. Speaking of coax cable, you get 
16 feet of it included with the moho leaf. It is of a, a, a good quality. I haven't had to replace it. I haven't thought about replacing it, but the beauty of it is if you think this is not up to snuff, then you can go out and get your own and just attach it to the digital TV antenna. In the box, you also get the Mohu amplifier. So this is the amplifier itself, which plugs into the coax cable, which is going to your digital TV antenna here. And then this part here, which you can still see with the uh, tag on it, goes directly into your TV. Now, there is a power source, power source right here, uh, which can either be plugged into the back of your TV should you have a USB port on it, or it comes with this handy little wall wart which you can then plug in. Now, the cable, cable here is much, much longer. So you actually have a, a good length of wire here in order to attach it to a power area uh, so you don't have to worry about coming up short. Now, the beauty of this uh, digital TV antenna is it is omnidirectional, meaning if I have it this way or if I have it this way, it's going to pick up the same signals. Now, because it is a over-the-air antenna, placement is important. Uh, so you're gonna have to play a little bit to figure out exactly where this is gonna pick up the best signals. The particular range on this antenna is 50 miles. So again, it, it's going to depend how close you are to a tower to get the reception to this. So what I'm going to show you my initial setups of the Mohu Leaf 50 here, and you, you will see me, as I've already done a couple times here, but may have been edited out, I do call it a Maho Leaf instead of a Mohu Leaf. I'm not sure why I did that, but the video of me setting it up is actually uh, a while ago when I first got it and first put it up. So please excuse me calling it the Maho Leaf instead of the Mohu Leaf. So this is the second time I scanned uh, for channels with the Maho Leaf. You'll notice that currently you can see that there is a picture happening in the background. That's because I apparently left it on a channel that it did pick up. I, I thought I put it to a channel that would have a blue background. But you'll notice here that the it's showing that it's antenna, it's showing that it's 100% complete, and it's showing 30 channels have been picked up. Now the first time I did this, it only picked up about eight channels, and this is where you're gonna have to play a lot with um, the location of the antenna itself. Now, you can kind of see, like I said, in the background there, it's coming in pretty clear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take off the menu here so you get an idea of just how clear the picture is. Now, I'm trying not to uh, involve, I I'm trying to avoid copyright, so I'm not gonna show you too long right now, uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is pause it for a second and change the channel to something a little less uh, copyright warranted. All right, so before I show you the placement of the antenna, just notice that this particular channel is, it was picked up, but it's kind of blurry. Uh, part of that is right now I'm not using the amplifier. So what I'm going to do is while this channel's kind of fuzzy, I'm going to Go behind the TV, plug the amplifier in, and show you kind of what that will look like to clean up the picture. And then I'll show you the placement of the antennas because I'm going to scan again because even though it picked up 40, or I'm sorry, 30 channels, I should be able to pick up 47 channels. And really, right now, the only one that's coming in very strong is um, channel 2. I should be able to pick up channel 5 and 11 where I am. But right now, I'm going to plug in the amplifier and show you how it cleans this up. Okay, so after putting on the amplifier, I am greeted with this particular message. Or if I tilt the TV, I get a little bit of a picture. Still kind of blurry. Uh, so the instructions say that what I should do is scan the system again after inputting the amplifier. So I will do a scan and let you know what it looks like afterwards. All right, so just to show you how finicky the antenna itself can be. Um, this is after the amplifier was installed. It brought me back to channel 2, which I am getting uh, in the background there. Uh, you'll notice that it is now only showing 24 as opposed to the 30 channels I got before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get back to that channel that was giving me issues before and see how it does now. If you'll notice, this particular channel 
is coming in in HD. It's a 1080i HD. So you can pick it up with the uh, antenna. It's just a matter of finding the correct placement in your house. So I'm going to go channel surf and find that channel that was giving me issues before. All right, so the channel that was giving me issues before, it went away. So I'm assuming it's probably because it's a weak signal. But you'll notice uh, ION here before... I was getting the standard def channel and it was kind of eh with the signal strength. This is the high def 720p channel and it's coming in rather nice. Uh, and again, I'm going to change it to something uh, to avoid copyright. So what I'm going to actually do now is grab the camcorder and show you the placement of the antenna previously. So don't mind the mess. This is right above my entertainment center, uh, mine the root beer bottles, and the initial placement was right here. And that's what got me the eight channels. Now behind that wall is my kitchen with the microwave and all that. What I did was shift it over a little bit to the left. Uh, so that's my dining room there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to extend the coax as far as I can across this and see if I can hook it up close to that outside wall there. Because the higher up it is and the closer to the outside wall it is, the better your signal strength. So I'm going to reposition and rescan. All right, so this is an example of having the amplifier on and in my house's case, like best placement, I've got 100% completion and 46 channels as opposed to the 30 channels I had before. And as you can see, it is defaulted back to ABC2 in the background there. But this is the ABC2 HD channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to channel surf a little bit. Ah, and see, now we get, with this particular placement, channel 4, cozy TV. We get channel 5 now, which is playing the soccer game, so I'm going to change so I don't get copyright flagged. We get movies, we get standard def channel 5 and channel 9 standard def as well as channel 9 in HD. So really it's all about the placement of the antenna and I'm just cycling through the channels. So I have 46 channels now that is completely over the air and I do know I turn that off uh, so just using the placement which we're gonna go up and around and like I said I had it moved over in this direction and that's really blurry I need to have better lighting now the cable is kinda drooping right now and the antenna is like in this half slouched position that's because I was using sticky tack to figure out the correct location and at least what I could say is with the Maho having a lot of cable length, a very generous cable length, you can find that exterior wall that's going to give you the best signal. Now again, now that I figured out where the best placement for this is, I can use those peripherals that came with it to tack it into place. And again, 46 channels of free TV. You're not going to beat that. And you saw HD channels and they came in very clearly. So as you saw, the, the signal and channels that you get are very dependent on where you place this. I ended up you know, putting it on an exterior wall. My apartment is located on the second floor of a complex. And I made sure that it was an exterior facing wall. And I got a pretty good amount of channels. What you make what you might not have noticed is that was also during a rainy day. So weather can affect the, uh, the signal strength of this, but you saw it was raining outside. That was still a pretty good signal. Now, I haven't had a chance to test it in the snow yet. I have had it for a while now, but you know, not during the snowy months. I have had it and tested it overcast, bright and sunny, and as you saw, they're raining. It, it, it does dip in and out every now and then, but again, it's a digital TV antenna. I'm not paying for cable, so it's a trade-off that I am willing to take. What I did forget to mention with the amplifier here, whether it's plugged in and receiving a signal or not 
plug, I'm sorry, if it's plugged in and receiving a signal, you're watching TV actively, or whether the TV is powered off, it still draws power of uh, eight watts. So that's just something to be aware of. It's plugged into the TV. It will be drawing a little bit of vampire power unless you cut the power completely to the TV. So in order to determine if this is something that's going to be good for you, there's a couple things you need to think about. One, the price. The price of the, the Mohu Leaf here ranges between $70 to $40 if you get it new. Uh, like I said, I, I have been watching this for a while now, and a while ago, Amazon had a really, really good sale on new ones for $40. So I jumped right on that, and I have been very happy with it. But the price, if you get it new, might be a little bit of a factor to uh, hold you back. I was concerned for paying $70 for a piece of plastic that pulled down TV channels. But uh, 60, $60, I would say, is a fair price. So if you can find it at $60, it, it's well worth it. Uh, another thing to consider is, again, the range of your particular uh, house from a antenna. What I'll do is either Put it somewhere here or in the description area below a uh, a website that you can punch in your address or zip code and figure out you know a rough estimate of how many channels you should get with something like this uh, it's the fcc so it should be as up to date as possible and i would say for when i did it it was fairly accurate so really if um you're looking for another piece to your cord cutting arsenal I would highly suggest looking at the Mohu Leaf 50 amplified antenna here. And really, you, you can't, uh, can't go wrong with the free TV. So I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And thanks for watching.